Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 21st, 2023, Venus re-emerging as the morning star reading for you. Now, this is important for you guys. You're ruled by Venus, and Venus is changing her face in the night sky. So love is changing it the way that it presents itself in our lives. And this is just fascinating and, and, and really fun. If you want to know more about Venus, check out Heather Ensworth's site here on YouTube. I have her linked in the description box below. She goes into this absolutely brilliantly. And if you resonate with this reading, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out more than you will ever know. I'm also open to private readings, private personalized meditations, and animal healings. So check that out. And if you're having difficulty contacting me, you can email me or booking on my website. You can email me at danehartaro at gmail.com. My website is danehartaro.com dot com, which will be also linked in the description box below, as will a link to any of the cards that I'm using. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Ooh, okay, so right here. Interesting. Okay, Libra. We have the star card reversed and we have the three of swords reversed. We need to be mindful that there's a release of pain that's coming forward. Now, the star card is either it's Aquarius energy, right? But this is also Venus is being called the morning star. So as the face of Venus changes, it deeply affects us. We're ruled by Venus. So when Venus changes, we feel it. We can feel like our dreams and our wishes aren't being heard as if we are, are floundering at times, you know, wondering, questing, seeking, and we're not getting the response that we would want. But we can also be off with Aquarius energy. They, we're just not jiving with that. Or a time frame of January 20th to February 18th, something in that time frame that has happened can be coming up. But we're releasing the heartbreak and the pain. It's not going to have the control it once had over us. And yet we're going to feel kind of funny about that. We're going to be questioning, you know, did I make the right decision? Am I moving forward the right way? There's also a, re a reevaluating of, of our deep desires. There's, there's a sense, not for all of us sleepers, this is a general reading, but for a lot of us that our heart's deep desire and what our wishes, like our ego wish is, they haven't been in alignment. So just be aware of this during this time. So let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Here we have white light. There is healing light all around us, guiding us, supporting us, cleansing us. This would be a great time actually for a sage cleanse. And if you hate the smell of sage, like I do, oh, I hate the smell of sage. You can do a lavender cleanse. That works well too. If you guys know any other cleanses that are not sage, because I can tell you, I hate the smell of sage. Please let me know, um, you know, write it down in the comment box. I'd be so grateful to hear. But this is a release of negative energy. There's a sense of, of I'm being healed and being centered. I'm, you know, really looking at what it is that I want and what it is that I desire. And that's why we can feel a little bit off with, you know, the star reverse and the three of swords. The three of swords is I'm releasing the negative energy that has held me back, that has kept me hostage, right? I'm freeing myself from this. But what are my dreams? You know, what do I wish for? What do I, I need to connect with that I haven't been? Or what do I feel like hasn't been heard in my life? And now it's time for me to start to listen. 
Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Okay, interesting. So what's interesting here is that we're starting with the King of Cups. The King of Cups, water sign energy, right? But this water energy is the heart. And this is water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So if you have strong water sign presence in, in your chart, you're definitely going to feel this. Now, let's just talk about Venus for just a moment. We're going to go into the astrology later. But Venus disappeared from the night sky on August 6th, all right? She was exactly conjunct the sun on August 13th. And then now on August 21st, she is re-emerging, not as the evening star that she once was, but as the mor morning star that we will be seeing her as now for I think like the next nine months or so. So here with the, with the King of Cups, we are connecting with what we love. We are seeing what we desire. But the time that Venus has been away from our night sky is the time that she has been in the underworld. And that underworld is a time of, of death and rebirth. We are going to see ourselves being reborn, looking at things so differently than we have before, but we're coming from the life orders into our reality. So there's a sense here of our emotions meaning so much to us, connecting with us, guiding us, leading us in love, you know, asking us, us questions of where do we want to be? You know, what do we desire in our lives? I love the sense here that you know, he's, he's on this little, I don't know, boat, this little raft. And in his cup is a boat, you know, in the cup. And I just keep on thinking that there's a king on a boat in a cup, on a boat in a cup forever and ever and ever as he looks on. And there's a sense of how do I move forward in the love of my heart and the passion of what I have in my life, what I want to manifest in my life and how I move forward with the connection with me. Now this is sacred masculine connection. Venus links us to sacred feminine connection. How do we come in harmony with the two of them? How do we see what we love and also embrace our throat chakra? Our throat chakra is our voice. Our throat chakra is, is listening, you know, is, is grounding ourselves, but it's also our life purpose. It's why we're on this earth. And so connecting with our voice, connecting with the infinitum of ourselves and universes in, in deeper understandings, but saying, I am infinite and meaning it. I am infinite and loving ourselves. I'm just seeing this, this sense of there's greatness here. There's power here. There's connection here. Venus entering into the underworld has also strongly been linked with me and the way I've been seeing this with spirit, with forgiveness. How do I move forward in the forgiveness of my heart? Not for anybody else, but for myself. And I know forgiveness is very, very loaded. I've been seeing it during this time and I didn't know that Venus was in the underworld. I didn't know much about this at all until I, I stumbled across, you know, Heather Ensworth's video. And I was like, this is so fascinating. I wanted to share it with you all. And what happened for me is that I saw a picture of my first year third grade teacher. I was so good at it. I had to do third grade twice. And the anger, I thought I was past that. The anger I felt at that woman shocked me. It really, really did. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I still really, really, really disliked her. This is a time when Venus is showing us our relationships with ourselves, with others that need to be changed. And so walking the path of forgiveness as we hold open our cups, as we drink deeply of the healing waters, as we connect with love and, and what we desire, it's just going to be so important, so freeing. I know I myself am doing this and I would ask if you want to, to join me, most definitely. I'm not going to be doing it online because I think it's rather invasive, but just sitting in meditation to forgive. You do it for, you know, one minute, five minutes a day to free yourself, to move yourself forward. It's going to be a really great thing because we have the eight of wands here. Everything is going to be moving so fast once Venus reemerges from the underworld. But once we, we see what we want, you know, we've gone through this time of transformation and we've felt it. We have felt it, Libra. Once we embrace this time of transformation, we're going to be saying, you know what? I need to move forward. I need to take action. I need to be doing more. You'll see that during the, 
from the 21st onward. It's not going to be necessarily exactly on the 21st, though for some of us, it can be. A, f- a switch is flipped. You know, it's like, okay, now I see things. Now I'm moving forward. Now I'm going after certain things that we were going after. We're going to be like, mm, no, that's not right. That's not right. That was a mistake. Okay. And we step back. Other things that we thought, no, oh, no, I'm not going to go after them now. We're like, yeah, no, it's time. It's time to do this with the eight of wands, the, the passion, the creativity. We need to step back. We need to take it in. And then we need to search forward. With the five of wands, we're done with the pettiness. We really are done with the pettiness. It's like, I'm not getting involved with the petty, the nasty, the nitty picky, you like the nitty gritty, picky nonsense of it all. I am moving forward. And so we're actually taking ourselves out of certain equations that don't fit us anymore. It's like, no, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be doing this. I don't want to have this. I am moving forward. And it brings us to the Knight of Wands reversed. We are going to be very aware within ourselves of energy that no longer suits us, no longer fits us. Energy of a bad temper, especially if we have fire sign energy in our chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Energy of distrust within ourselves, you know, condemnation of ourselves. We're really looking at the way that we want to move forward and saying, I'm done with the, the fly by night. Also the loves in our lives, the people in our lives that have bad, bad tempers, who are, you know, manipulative, who are angry more than they're not. We're like, I don't need this. And what's more, I don't want this. And so we see ourselves moving forward in, in power and in understanding. But we have to be very mindful of our tempers, not getting the best of us, of not always looking them back and saying, it shoulda, it coulda, it would have. You know, if only this happened differently. No, now is the time where we kind of seize the bull by the horns and we say, now I'm moving forward. Now I'm going after what I want. And we're coming back in relationship with what's right for us. When Venus disappears from the night sky, and when she disappeared from the night sky on the 6th of August, there was a shift within us. And it either started slowly or very, very quickly, depending on where we are in our journey. But there was a shift within us that said, I'm not doing the petty anymore. And that shift has been coming for a really long time. I'm moving forward. I'm going after. I'm, I'm, you know, seizing the change. And on the 21st, of, of August, when Venus reemerges as the morning star, the sun is almost exactly conjunct the constellation of Regulus, the heart of the lion in the constellation of, I'm sorry, not the constellation of Regulus, the royal star Regulus, the heart of the lion of the Leo constellation. We are going to see that we have brave hearts, that we are strong, that we are determined, that we are insightful. And Venus will be very close to the head of the serpent of the constellation of Hydra the ancient symbol of the sacred feminine. So even with the King of Cups crowning us, the King of Cups is the most feminine of all the kings. He is the one that looks at his heart and says, I lead by example. I lead by my love and my passion and where I need to be for me. Now, with this energy, we are being profoundly guided to the sacred feminine energy and how it manifests within itself in our lives how we embrace this, how we see ourselves moving forward, how we transform just as the serpent sheds its skin. How do we transform? How do we grow in love and in nurturing and caring and support for ourselves? Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is the six of pentacles. Now this is Libra energy in the minor arcana. How does everything come into balance? Where are things not in balance? Where do we feel like a pauper with our hands out? Where do we feel strong and accomplished? These questions come forward and they're important ones. But we need to be mindful that scales need to be balanced, that things that are out of harmony need to be in harmony for us. It brings us to our subconscious spirit message, which is authentic, reversed. There's something holding us back from truly being our authentic selves, from truly saying, this is me. Now, it could be something very, very small. Again, it depends on where we are in our journey, where it could be something very small where we say, you know what, that doesn't jive with me. I'm not doing it that anymore. It, it, it added like petty burdens into my life and I don't want it. It could be something bigger, but it's looking at the authentic. It's seeing the power within ourselves. And it brings us to our subconscious tarot message. And this is the Empress reversed. We are having a bit of difficulty subconsciously connecting with the sacred feminine energy. And the question is why? If we do a little meditation, just exhale and Say the sacred masculine, okay? Because we are crowned by it. 
What emotion comes through instantaneously when you say the sacred masculine? Is it positive or negative? Is it comforting or is it scary? And then just release that energy. Say the sacred feminine. What energy does that note within you? Is it positive? Is it negative? Do you smile or do you pull back? Why? Why with both? Sacred masculine? Why, do, why are we for it? Why are we against it? Sacred feminine? Same exact thing. And with those energies, depending on which one we felt the most comfortable with, it is the other one that we have to say, why don't I feel comfortable with you? And even with the one we feel comfortable with, why do I feel comfortable with you? Why am I secure here? Because the Empress energy, we're not secure with. There's a question of how do I birth forward? What I want to create in my life? What I need for my existence? Why? Why is this so hard? Why is this overwhelming? And why is this holding me back? Because this is stagnant creative energy that needs an outlet. It needs paint splattered, you know, on canvas. It needs, you know, it just needs, I'm just seeing pictures of laughing, beautiful faces coming up. And I don't know if it's you going out, having fun and taking multiple pictures of people laughing and just enjoy or sketching them in a sketchbook, but filling your life with joy and with laughter will help to bring the sacred feminine and the sacred masculine into balance within yourself. But that sacred laughter is going to be so important for you, Libra. Okay. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in. Exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Libra. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.